What's up, Mefford? How are we doing tonight, ladies and gentlemen? That was a comedy mating call. Make some noise up in here, Mefford. Make some noise. Make some noise. Some of you shouldn't have Monday off. You don't even know why we celebrating. Huh, I, I, I never forget, when my kids were still in school, they woke up to go to school on MLK Day. I said, no, go back to sleep. You don't got school today because a black man died for your civil rights. Do you know what that is? And one of my daughters said, Martin Lawrence, get the hell out of here. Like, really? So Big Mama House died for your rights. Huh? Ain't that something? I wish my neighbors was racist so they would stop talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I just found out that my neighbor's names is Karen and Brandon. Ha! No wonder they hate each other. Can you imagine being named Brandon and you're no good in bed? Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Shut up, Karen. Shut up, Karen. I love you, Oregon. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting my shows for so long. Thank you for doing it for me, Oregon. Thank you. Yeah. When I first moved here, a lot of my white friends back east was like, man, you moving to Oregon. There's a lot of white people out there. Like, aren't you, aren't you scared? I'm like, no, dude. I've seen every episode of Friends. I know what they want. I grew up so white. My name is Carl. I had no choice. I got to be the safest name for a Negro. Especially during these times. I used to be a time when a black man could not wave down the cab. Now we got Uber. They see Carl. Bing, Carl. Be safe, buddy. Be safe. Ain't no Jamal gonna pop up and get a ride. Hell no. They gonna be like, cancel that. Uh-uh. He live on Columbus Avenue. Oh, hell. Some of you don't even know about Columbus Avenue, do you? Just go down there and you're just gonna smell like a pissy mattress. Just take a drive. Just smell like a pissy ass mattress all on Columbus Avenue. Then you turn left on Maine, you hit Mexico. Boom, that's all Mexico. Huh? The only thing American on Maine is Albertsons. And they gonna turn that to Albertos and Sons. Was that racist? <laughs> no. <laughs> they love their Hispanics out here. They gave them their own lake. Immigrant lake. Celebrate. What? <laughs> we got anybody to celebrate anything? I love to see people celebrate. We got people celebrating? Any birthdays? Birthday. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm joking, dude. Happy birthday, bro. I got to make a gangster. Happy birthday, bro, because I'm gangster. You know? <laughs> see this all in the outfit, huh? This is nostalgic for me. I was in the high school musical of Greece, huh? Tell me more, tell me more. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's the type of kid I was, dude. I, was, I grew up with Michael Jackson, that was my shit. I was so corn, I didn't know how to date girls because I was into Michael Jackson. I didn't know how to date. Girls be asking me to dance, I'd break out of Michael Jackson. Ow! Ooh, like, boom, and kick the shit out, and kick the 50 feet, like, ah! Thought I hit a field goal, And the Bee Gees was my shit. I was the only black kid in my school with a Bee Gees lunchbox. Turns out I was homeschooled. <laughs> Didn't even know it. I wasn't even homeschooled. My mom was just too hungover to take me to school. She'd be like, nah, baby, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. No school today. Well, mama, it's a snow day. <laughs> I'm a Ruben, I got married now. Look at that. Bah. Look at that. See that shit. Bah. That's called a mood ring. Because when you get married, you put the ring on, she ain't in the mood no more. <laughs> you change the mood. Yeah, man, but I love being married, though. It's different. It's different. Because now she's different. Like when you get married, you don't realize this is just a symbol. The commitment already started when you chew it. That's, this is a symbol of the ceremony. The commitment already started long. That's, that's done. You know what I mean, fellas? You remember when you got committed, when shit just stopped, like having hope? Remember them days? <laughs> 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 T 
See, that's why some of y'all not laughing, because she got your hope in your pocket. Like, yeah, I hope you laugh tonight. Laugh tonight so I can kick in your head. Laugh tonight. <laughs> she changes. I'm exhausted, too. I'm so glad Christmas over. That wore me out. You guys go all out for that dumbass all, spending all that money. My wife goes all out. See, I didn't have that growing up. We go up poor as hell. We celebrated Christmas in March because uh, this thing called Layaway. <laughs> and remember them days in Layaway? Your mom put everything on Layaway. I think my mom put me on Layaway. She didn't bring me home right away. She's like, I can't afford it. I'm going to come back for them, though. I promise you. My mom put everything on their way. We opening up gifts on St. Patrick's Day. My neighbors, why your tree still up? Get out of my business, Miss Jenkins. That's why I love it now, I'm a grandfather. That shit is fun. You know how they say that saying, to be young again? To be young again. And I think about it, I don't wanna be young again, I'm good. Until I looked at my like three-year-old grandson and just watched him. Just sit on, he just ripped his diaper off. Just sitting on the couch watching Blippi, which is the creepy ass show, by the way. And he just touching himself and picking his nose. <laughs> Eyes rolling back. Felt good to him. I'm like, man, I want to do that. So bad. 